part of what we want to do at A-Level is to be able to sketch curves. And that really brings about the difference between plotting and sketching. Now you'll be used to plotting because if I asked you to plot the line y is equal to 2x plus 1, for example, then you might remember that you would have to build up a table of values of x's and y's. So you might start at minus 2, then minus 1, 0, 1, 2, etc. Okay, and then plug those values of x into the equation. So you'd have minus 3, you'd have minus 1, then you'd have 1, then 3, then 5. Okay? So then you would plot those points on an xy grid. You would go minus 2, minus 3 is here. Oh, sorry, minus 2, minus 3 is down here, rather. There we are. Then we'd go minus 1, minus 1. Okay, would be somewhere there. Then 0, 1 would be there. So try and get these in a nice straight line. And then 1, 3. And the next point, 2, 5, for example. Okay, and you'd be able to plot the points exactly. Sketching is all about showing what shape the equation is. What is the shape and what are the coordinates of any important points? So, I know that, for example, y is equal to 2x plus 1 is a line, a straight line, that will cross through 1 on the y-axis and have a gradient of positive 2. So it will look something like this. It doesn't need to be exact because it's a sketch. So I know that it's going through 1 on the y-axis, and then I can identify where it crosses the x-axis, because that's the only, really the only other point that is of interest to us. Now, this line, the x-axis, is also referred to as y is equal to 0. And likewise, the y-axis is x is equal to 0. So you can substitute x is 0 into the equation to get y is equal to 1. That tells you where it crosses the y-axis. So if I perform the same type of manoeuvre, and I substitute y is 0 into this, then we get 0 is equal to 2x plus 1. Take 1 from both sides, and then divide both sides by 2. And that's telling me that it's crossing the x-axis at minus a half. And so this would be a perfect sketch of y is equal to 2x plus 1. It shows the general shape of the line. It shows that it's of positive gradient. It's telling me where it crosses the y and x axis. But it's not exact. It's not perfect. That's the difference here. And it should be that you can do this freehand. Okay, so there's no, um, there's no uh, requirement to use a ruler. Okay, you should be able to do this just by going x, y, there's my line, or similarly, here's another line, or a line that looks like that, okay? And it's just identifying where the key points are. And we're going to look at more examples of this in the next video.